Minas Karatsurlu came down from the mountains in full regalia to make a serious point. This costume was worn by his grandfather and great-grandfather during Greece's 19th century war of independence against the Turkish occupation. His kilt has 400 pleats, one for every year of the occupation. It's a skirt with a grudge. So it's little wonder that Mr. Karatsudlu has gone to war over this pot of yogurt. I got upset because they were using my image without my authorization, but I also got upset because of the fact that I saw that they advertised the yogurts, yogurts are, as Turkish yogurts. And I am Greek, I feel Greek, I'm from Delphi, which is an internationally renowned location for uh, the Greek history. His lawyer is seeking £6 million compensation and is pursuing a criminal case for the misuse of personal data, which he claims could lead to the Swedish chief executive being extradited to Greece for jail time. I think there is no bigger insult for a Greek to be called Turk. It's a serious incident, not only because they didn't ask for his authorization, but even if there was an authorization to put his particular face on the products, he would have never given his authorization to put the word Turkish above his forehead. A spokesman for the Swedish company dismissed the compensation claim as unrealistic. The company says it bought the image from a picture agency in good faith and so is not concerned about a possible prison sentence. Also, the company says it can't remove the word Turkish from the yogurt pot because the yogurt is Turkish. And so it looks as though there's little room for compromise. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Athens.